Hi Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, welcome to your reading, your weekend forecast. We're going to be having a look to see what's coming up for you this lovely weekend. I really appreciate you joining me and of course popping back over to my channel. I absolutely welcome you on board to like this video, to subscribe to the channel, to get updates for readings for your sign. I'll be using the Egyptian tarot this weekend um, and we're going to be having a look at what are the love messages for you uh, and your person. Okay, let's channel the energies of water signs and see what's coming up. You have the strength card reversed, high priestess, uh, sorry, the hierophant reversed, the high priestess upright, um, the chariot card reversed, and then the three of cups um, reversed. Okay. Got some powerful energies here um, that have straight away come up in the cards. I want to point your focus to the high priestess who really sits in the middle here, um, and I feel like she's holding the key to something, um, something about understanding or resolution. So I think that's going to be a major theme for you this coming weekend. Now. She sort of sits here, but she's covering something. She's, it's almost like something is covered up. Now, I feel like something that was covered up is, is needs to come out into the, um, into, uh, into what the public eye, okay? It needs to be resolved between yourself and your person because whatever it is that you're keeping from them, um, or whatever it is that you're sort of, maybe you're not necessarily hiding this. Um, maybe it's something only you know it's something that only you know um it's something that is either about your past it's something that you either feel or know about your person okay maybe it isn't even about you maybe it's completely about them either way it's been with you and it's sitting with you and it's creating a lot of these reversals that you're seeing in the cards it's creating a lot of these reversals in your relationship with this person and that's very powerful. So straight away, it's having a huge effect on what's going on around you. Um, the Three of Cups, I mean, this is reversed. So it makes me think it's it's ruining a friendship or it's, it's, it's potentially threatening your bond together. Now, it could be in relation to another person. Um, you know, for the Cancers watching, we've got you coming up as a reversal. So Cancer, there's something that's completely thrown you off. Um, and you've either stopped fighting about it or you don't want to fight about it anymore. Um, Pisces, Scorpio, you've come up here as three, uh, as well as Cancer, I should say, but you've come up here as a three of cups. And it's coming up reversed. So right now, you're not into agreement with this person or you don't see how you're going to progress forward. You're not feeling very strong about the connection. What I want to say is you've got the strength card, but it's reversed. Um, it can represent Leo um, energy. Uh, so, you know, Leo is an energy about having confidence in a situation. Um, and I think what you what you know this weekend, it's either you don't feel confident that you're, you don't feel confident in your person or you don't feel confident in your connection about what you know or about what you are keeping from your person. Somehow you're losing confidence in that situation. Can it be turned around? I think so, yes. Um, but it's got something to do with respect, okay? There could be someone that oversteps the boundary that has disrespected you or you've disrespected them. It's about addressing respect. I think that's going to be the biggest thing for you this weekend um, because a hierophant is here, but also romance. If you're wanting to turn something around, a very sweet romantic gesture could help you um, in some way here, okay? It could help bring about, bring about resolution or at least get you onto civil terms. Civil, um, amicable terms is, is what we see uh, in the cards here with that uh, Three of Cups. But right now, it's reversed and the water is falling out. So um, I do feel like there is forgiveness that's needed in this situation. Um, but like I said, the only card that's upright uh, is the High Priestess. And the cards are telling you to follow your intuition on this one, Water Signs. You're all very intuitive. And I'm not surprised that this has come up in the cards because it's, it's telling you what's needed in this situation. It's telling you that 
you need to be intuitive about this one, about this situation and sort of gauge, um, gauge what you can do here. I you notice how the maiden approaches the lion with tenderness. I sense that you need to, that there, there's a very critical situation or you need to be very sensitive to the situation here and you need to approach it very tenderly, very softly or very subtly. I think subtlety is going to be it's going to be the biggest challenge, water signs. I think your ability to show, even though you might be mad at this person or you're hiding something from them, um, your ability to be sensitive in the situation is going to make it easier to work through. So that that would I that's what I think would be the biggest um, message for you here is subtlety is the key in this sort of situation. If you're going to come into the situation, you know, he's got the blade out, he's got his sickle blade out, he looks like he's ready to pounce, he's, he's ready to go at it, it's it's going to come across very vicious. And the High Priestess is, is not aggressive in that sense. You know, the card of aggression, which can be seen as a strength card, is reversed. She's more softer in her approach. She's more delicate. She tries to listen and to understand, takes the information, thinks about it um, and rash, tries to rationalize it and then answers back softly or tries to reason with the situation in a subtle manner. So I think the way in which you're going to approach the situation is going to determine how um, how it's going to progress forward and, and roman romanticism is coming up as well. I also feel for some of you um, this weekend, either for yourself or the person, uh, there's a very special romantic um, gesture that's going to be done, okay, by either you or by them. Um, and it's something that's hidden, but it could turn out to be a very lovely surprise. Or for some of you, if you feel like your person has been the high priestess and sort of withholding something from you, or, you know, they haven't been in touch, they've been a little bit absent, I want to say that the reason why... Um, their being this way is because they have a lovely surprise that's coming to you. It could be a proposal. It could be something that they sort of planned for you. Maybe they know a special day is approaching and it'll all make sense. And then all these reversals will just fall, fall, fall away. Um, and you'll be able to see that um, evident um, throughout the weekend, throughout the course of the weekend. So I hope this reading has been helpful. Thank you again for tuning in, Water Signs, um, and I shall be in touch with you tomorrow for a segment for each sign. So tune back into the channel then. Otherwise, don't forget to like and also to subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. So uh, thanks again, everyone, and 